If you browse on YouTube, you will see tons of videos show you how to draw face using accurate measurements like grid method or Loomis method and more. While these are really good techniques, but for someone like me who likes to draw freehand, I'll show you what works for me better. I will break down for you my own technique of drawing a complete face in a very easy manner without following any kind of guidelines. For the outline, I'll start with the 9B pencil and finally do corrections with the 2B pencil. As start to the face, uh, try and draw a round shape. Now, since we are drawing freehand, uh, this may or may not be a perfect sphere. So don't stress too much if you can't draw a sphere. As you can see, the shape I have drawn is not an exact sphere. But I can work around this. So this is fine. Now we'll draw the hairline which is inside the circle. Again at this moment, you need not be perfect. Just draw as you see. You can always keep on improving the design. Similarly, just outside the circle, uh, draw a very broad outline of the ears. This is just to define the shape. Now complete the jawline which is below the initial circle. Don't try to perfect the drawing at this stage. Remember that you are drawing freehand. So there will be mistakes which you will need to correct as you go. Now draw an intersection at the forehead. This will help divide the drawing such that you will know where exactly to place the eyes and the nose. For eyes, at this moment, it is best to just draw two spheres and draw a parallel line to make sure they are the same size. For nose, just look at the shadow and the cast shadow portions and try to draw an outline around that. Since we already have the initial circle as reference, it becomes very easy to draw the entire mouth and the beard portions. Now erase the references from the drawing. Now refer to the upper part of the circle and complete the rest of the hair. Now we come to the next part of drawing the outline where we will start correcting the shapes of various parts of the face starting with the ears. Again, you don't need to be perfect at this stage. Just try and keep improving as you go. As I complete this in the next part of this video series, I will show you the technique of shading that worked well for me as a beginner and will also share techniques and tools that you need in order to create a lifelike face. So watch out for my next video as I try and get as close as possible to the actual image of Messi.